Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm uh, oh, hmm. today I'm just not gonna talk. Sorry. Okay, so let me try and start over. Today we're gonna do a favorites video. Um, so this is kind of an April slash May favorite skincare, uh, top five favorite skincare and top five makeup items. Now before I start this video, I just want to say that my video that was posted um, last, there's a giveaway. And be sure to enter because it's this Smoked Palette by Urban Decay. It has really great colors inside. I showed it in the last video. But has really great colors inside. There's an eyeliner in there as well. Be sure to enter. Go to my last video. Like and comment done. To enter okay so let's get started okay so the first thing that I'm gonna start with is my favorite face wash so this is probably a lot of people's favorite it's the Cetaphil gentle foaming cleanser um, I shop to get all my stuff at Walgreens I love it so um, I was gonna say I don't have any pimples but you know there's always a few but before I started using this um, I used to use a Neutrogena pink grapefruit scrub and my face broke out all over. I was like, I need something else. So I was looking for something very gentle and this does the trick. It's a foam. Maybe I'll just pump some for fun. It's just a foaming cleanser and it does a really great job of clearing off any makeup um, that you may have from the day. I just have to, yeah. It does a great job of clearing off any makeup that you may have left over from your day or just cleaning your face in the shower. I love it. So the next product I'm going to talk about is mentioned in a few of my videos, but it's my favorite moisturizer ever. It's Moisturize by Science Serum. It retails for $40, but I'll try and find the coupon code for 20% off that I mentioned last time, which brings it to like, I think I pay $32 when I buy it, but I will leave that code below. Um, so this is a non-greasy, dermatologist recommended, like doesn't clog pores, moisturizer that, oh, okay. Um, you know, one pump can cover your entire face. I put this in um, my everyday college makeup tutorial, so love it. Okay, so the third uh, skincare slash facial product that we're going to talk about is just makeup wipes. So I have a love-hate relationship with makeup wipes. I really hate Neutrogena, the blue package. I'm not sure what they're called. Those makeup wipes make my face feel like I have some sticky residue. After I wipe my makeup off, my face just doesn't feel clear. So I went on the hunt for some really great makeup wipes. That were affordable i went to my local target and i found these yes to cucumber soothing facial wipes um they smell really like you can smell it they smell really great and almost like cucumber why am i being so weird it smells like cucumber um but they're really great and there's no residue with these so these take off all my makeup if i'm too lazy to use that cetaphil like i said i'll use just a makeup wipe and it takes off everything the next and final two products i'm going to mention are things that i use before bed so first off i always put and i have it on right now just vaseline on my lips before i go to bed i am super prone to chapped lips in the winter spring summer yeah all the time so I just apply a little bit of, you guys should know what Vaseline is, but just apply a little bit. I put it on my nail because I don't want to get it all under there. Ugh. I just apply it before bed. Um, super cheap. This was probably $4.99, $3.99 maybe at Walgreens again. Love my Walgreens. Finally, I have an eye cream that I apply before bed. It's just by Lancome and I got it in a holiday gift set. Um, it smooths your under eyes. I've used a lot of it, but it smooths your under eyes. Um, and I put it on before bed because I mean, there's a little bit of white residue, um, when you use it. So I don't like to use it right before my makeup since then there'd be residue under my makeup. So I just use a little bit of this Lancome Advanced Genifique. I don't know how to pronounce that next word. Well, the word is Y-E-U-X. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I must sound like an idiot, but I'm not sure how much that cream is, but I will try and find it and link it in the description below. 
Okay, moving on to I oh, moving on to my top five favorite makeup products um, from April to May. So I'm gonna talk about my favorite foundation that I've been using. So it's the Bare Minerals. It's just a powder in fairly light. It has uh, SPF 15 in it. I love to use this every day with my Bare Minerals brush. This came together. I think I paid around $30 to $40. I will try and put that in the description. But I love this because it doesn't clog my pores. Um, and you don't need that much powder to cover your entire face. So that's really great. And um, you don't feel like cake, caked on. You feel like natural because it's just a powder on your face so I use that one pretty much every day um, if I have blemishes to cover I will go ahead and use my fit me foundation by Maybelline um, which is mentioned in my again that everyday the college makeup everyday video that is my last one that I posted okay so moving on to lips the superstay matte ink by Maybelline love it the shade is seductress this stuff will last as long as you need it to last and you need to use a makeup wipe or cetaphil to clean it off because it is like you just put a tattoo on your lips i love that feeling like it won't come off when you eat or drink or anything it really doesn't come off and it's a great nude let's talk about eyeshadows so my favorite eyeshadows ever are the chocolate nudes by catrice cosmetics i've used these for years um, as you can see, my favorite shade is like a very light brown. It's right here. Um, it's almost gone. I'm kind of sad. I'll have to order some new eyeshadow, but I think this is less than $10. I will link that below because typically to find an eyeshadow palette for less than $10 is like a miracle. The next product I'm going to talk about is the Starlight Sparkle Eyeshadow Glam Palette by Lancome. And I loved to use this at college for a night out. It has some really great sparkly... I think it's like crooked. Okay. So it has some really great sparkly colors. Um, the sparkly gold, silver. This is a navy blue color that was really great. Um, as well as the light pink I love. Okay. And finally... Um, eyeliners, don't know why I need to do that, but this one's my favorite. I got it in an Ipsy Glam bag. It's, I can never pronounce it. I don't even, Duke, maybe it's Duke actually. D-O-U-C-C-C, -C -C, Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen. I love this one because the eyeliner just comes out so, you know, it's like a little marker. It's fabulous. But it's expensive. I believe this one's $20 to $30. I'll link that below. Um, so I got that in an Ipsy Glam bag, so that's why I didn't pay full price. But if you're looking for something more affordable, maybe at the drugstore, I have the L'Oreal Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner. And so this is the um, one by Lanco. No. This is the Duke one right here. And this is the L'Oreal. So this one's just a little bit thicker, but this one, I'm actually pretty, this one looks a little bit darker too. So I really just, um, I like both of these um, eyeliners. They're really great. One of them is more affordable than the other. So up to you, whichever one you want to go for. Um, I'm not sure about the wear on this one. I haven't worn it yet for a full day, but this one I know will last you hours upon hours. So thank you for watching my favorites video. That is all I have for you today. Be sure to enter this giveaway. It ends on June 1st, uh, 2019. In case this video stays up for a very long time, it ends on June 1st, 2019 for this palette. And all you have to do is go to my last video, the giveaway and Everyday College Glam um, and just comment done after you like the video. Thanks for watching.